Welcome to Photo Vibrance. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started creating animated images inside of Vibrance. So you have two options. You can either drag and drop an image over here or click to browse from your desktop, or you can go through the stock image integrations and search for an image using Pixels or Pixabay. I'm gonna go and grab an image from my desktop and just drop it in like so. Okay, cool. So now over here, what we can do is change the resolution and you can set custom dimensions over here. If you select custom, you can go back to the original image size or you can set you know sizes that are good for social media like the square one over here so i'm just going to select that and click on next okay great so inside the editor we've got options such as adding text you can add your logo or an image you can add effects shapes you can adjust the size again and you can publish your uh, project as well as save your project to work on it at a later stage so what I'm going to do first of all is begin animating. So what you can do is just zoom into the image over here and you want to go through and set some anchors where you don't want the image to move. So I'm going to go and grab single and just simply start clicking around here. And I just want to, you know, set the water in motion. So I want to kind of you know, freeze everything around the water. Okay, great. You can also use the path option if you want to just simply click and then click and, it'll, and hit enter and then it will basically add the paths at the end like that. So I'll just go in and I'll just hit the selection tool actually and go and just move these around a little bit. Okay, great. So now I've got my anchors in place. What I want to do is add some arrows to make the, the image move. So I'm going to select single and just simply click and drag and what you want to do is not make the arrows too big uh, you kind of want to make them this kind of size depending on how much motion you want to add the bigger the arrows more motion you'll add to your picture so you just want to kind of draw it out like that um, you can keep going add some more arrows and then click on the play button you can see we've got this nice kind of image like this and what you want to do is just you know kind of go in there and maybe add a few more arrows like so and there we go we can also adjust the speed of the animation by just simply dragging this out like this and what I also want to do with this one is I want to add some fog so I'm going to go over to the effects over here and I'm just going to scroll down and add some fog. I'm gonna go grab this one here, kind of zoom out and then just kind of place it near the bottom like that. And I'm gonna set the speed to slow for this fog, okay? So let's just play this through. And it's looking really nice. So once you're ready and you're happy with your image, what you can do is go to the publish button over here. You can select whether you want it to be an MP4 or a GIF image. I'm going to go with MP4 and let's just set it to two loops and click on publish and give it a name. So let's call this one beautiful. And you'll be able to see that our image will start exporting and once it's ready we can go view our animated image. So let's just go ahead and preview the video. So let's check this out. And that's how easy it is to go through and create animated images inside of Photo Vibrance. I'm going to show you how to replace the sky on any image inside of Photo Vibrance. So what I'm going to do is simply go to Effects and then go to Skies. And you can simply hover your mouse on the different types of skies and then left click to add it to your canvas. And then I'm just going to simply resize it a little bit like this and maybe place it up a bit like so. The next thing you want to do is click on Draw Mask and you can simply just zoom in a bit and draw out the edge of your mask over here and then fill it in once you've added the edge. So I'm going to quickly go through and do this. Okay great, so once you've drawn out the mask simply hit finish and then what you can do is adjust the edge fading by simply play, playing around with this and you see that it helps you to uh, basically merge the footage together so it looks a lot cleaner and you can also adjust the speed of your video. So let's click on play. And you can see how nice that looks 
to really create a lot of attention to your image. And you can also adjust the speed as well, the overall speed of the video by dragging this down like so and placing it like that. So that's how to quickly create a sky replacement inside of Photo Vibrance. I'm going to show you how to animate an iris inside of Photo Vibrance. So what you want to do is first of all just draw out uh, the anchor point, so where you want the image to stay still. So I'm just going to draw around this iris here. And also I'm going to draw around the pupil and the inside of the eye, like so. Cool. So what we could do is either draw a path and make it like rotate around, or we could draw a, uh, some, a some arrows kind of going outside like this, and making it kind of expand and move around like this. So I'm going to try this one like this, for example. Just add the arrows to draw the motion. Cool. So I'm going to play this through, see what it looks like. And as you can see, it really is eye-catching, <laughs> literally, uh, with this eye. Um, and what you could also do, as I said, if you, for example, let's go and select just the arrows. I'm just going to select this and remove those arrows. We could go with the path and just draw around this kind of loop, I guess, of motion and just preview that as well. And that looks super cool, as you can see. So you can really have fun, you know, being creative with certain images like these eyes. And yeah, that's how you can animate an iris inside of Photo Vibrance.